This is Here For You with 6 News at 5. It's a special day to honor America's veterans as ceremonies are held all across the country, including right here in mid-Michigan. It's our top story at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson. People gathered all across the area to celebrate veterans who've served our country and those who continue to sacrifice and protect our freedoms. Taylor Morris is here for you now and shares some of the sights and sounds from this Veterans Day. Showing appreciation to those who served. Communities all around mid-Michigan held events to honor veterans. In DeWitt, the high school hosted its 16th annual tribute. Several veterans were there and were honored by staff and students. Veterans Day is very important for our community and for our staff and students, and we want our staff and our students to feel this every year on November 11th. Lansing Community College also honored veterans today. After taking two years off due to the pandemic, the school held its 11th annual Veterans Memorial Induction Ceremony. This year, they honored U.S. Air Force veteran Charles Layton, former LCC trustee and U.S. Navy veteran Larry Meyer, and former LCC professor and U.S. Army veteran William Mott. Let you know that you were appreciated and welcome in this ceremony today. I think I'll do that. And when we lose them, the history that they had, their military service, all the stuff that they went through goes away. So I think it's important that I can be somebody who captures those stories and, and those histories and we can enshrine them in our memorial for the community to, to come look at. And the city of Lansing also honored veterans. Brian Daniels, a city council member from the first ward, was the keynote speaker. The Iraqi war veteran and Purple Heart recipient shared his story. In Lansing, Taylor Morris, 6 News.